1000 Word Apocalypse by Gamer Unnamed Chapter 1 The Final Chapter Twilight! Oh, hey, Pinky, how are you? Shut up, we don't have much time! Slow down, Pinky, what do you mean? We don't have much time left before... Before what? Before the end of the world, Twilight! <sighs> Stay calm. The world is not going to end. What the hay has gotten... No, it's true! I know it! How exactly? My pinky said told me so! And do you remember what happened last time when you didn't trust it? Okay, fine. Yes! But do you have any proof? Yes! Then show me! I want to see it! Um, you actually can't see it, Twily. What? Why? Is your proof some sort of philosophical stuff? Or is it just invisible? No, I mean, you literally can't see! Then how can you show it? Hush! What? Hush! Close your eyes! What are you? Close your eyes! Okay, okay, jeez. Inhale, exhale. What do you see, Twilight? Oh, my, Celestia, what is this place? And what in Tartarus are those? This is a website. Those things are our words, Twilight. What we said during our conversation are written here. What? Why? I mean, how? Our universe is just a simulation, Twilight! What? Nothing's real! Me, you, everything we saw, everything we said! They're all artificial! What? But... but... It, it can't be! But it is, Twilight! Our universe even has an ID number! It's 387538! It's written right above our heads! This isn't real! This isn't real! There's no way this can be real! Yes, Twilight! Nothing is real! No! I mean, how could it be real that our universe is, you know, not real? Are you blind? Then how do... Why are you keep shouting at me? Oops, I forgot to turn off the caps lock switch. My bad. Huh? There, all better. Now, where was I? Uh, how could our universe be not real? Right, are you blind? Then how do you explain the place we're currently in? I, you, we, I mean... <sighs> Forget it, we're all doomed! There are millions of other universes that are just like ours anyway! I guess so. There's a series that mentions our situation called the Bubble Universe Theory. What? It is a hypothetical inflationary universe model, which itself is an outgrowth or extension of the Big Bang Theory. According to eternal inflation, the inflationary phase of the universe's expansion lasts forever throughout most of the universe. Because the regions expand exponentially rapidly, most of the volume of the universe at any given time is inflating. What? <sighs> In short, it has something to do with multiple versions of one of the infinite universes that can end at any given time. Well, it's more of a square triangle theory. But that's not important right now. Our universe is going to end if we don't do anything. But what can we do? If what you're saying is true, then no matter what actions we might take, it's still unknown what would happen to us. Listen to me, Twilight! Do you know why our universe is made of words and not actual things? Uh, no. It's because we're in a story, Twilight! We're in a written story! You mean, we're in a book or something? I don't think we're in a book, at least not an official one. This kind of writing is mediocre at best. Then what kind of written story is it? I think it's a kind of fiction about characters or settings from an original work of fiction which is created by fans of the latter work rather than by its creator. You mean fanfic? Damn it, Twilight! No one can remember that word! Uh, okay... So we're in some sort of fanfic then. Not just any kind of fanfic, Twilight! It's an MLP fanfic! MLP? It stands for My Little Pooh! You mean My Little Pony, right? I know what I said, Twilight! Whatever. But how can knowing any of these things help us, Pinky? Don't you get it? If we manage to make this fic a good one, the author will continue to write more fics, thus prolonging our universe's lifespan! Uh... Okay... 
Okay. Now let me think of a way to do it. Maybe we should start by figuring out an interesting plot. Yes, that's a great idea! How about a story that occurs two centuries after a war between the Pony Nation of Equestria and the Zebra Empire which ends in a mega spell holocaust that decimates much of Equestria and the known world? It'll take place in a region known as the Equestrian Wasteland, which includes several locations featured including the ruins of Ponyville, Candlelight, Manhattan, Philadelphia, and the surrounding countryside. That's... sounds strangely specific coming from you. Are you sure that no one else has ever written that kind of story before? No? <sighs> Someone has done that, hasn't they? Oh, oh, how about a story about us? I'll tell our discovery about the truth of the universe and our attempt at stopping the end of our existence! Wait! Well, unfortunately, someone has already written that story, Pinky. Apparently. Yeah, I wouldn't want to write that anyway. It would be too cliché, boring and only a thousand words long. Yeah, wait, what? What is what, Twily? What did you just say? I said, what is what, Twily, Twily? No, something about our story only lasts a thousand words. Oh yeah, our story as well as our universe will end after a thousand words are written. But why? I don't know, maybe the author is really lazy. First he tried to write a 100 word long story, but the site rejected it. So he decided to write 900 words of filler about the story approver, Majin Sieko or something, denied it. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? Sorry, I totally forgot. Uh, wait, why do you sound so weird? Oh, I'm manipulating the word count by not spacing between words. I suggest that you should do it too. So what are we going to do now? All we can do is hope that our story will become interesting enough for the writer to continue expanding our universe. <sighs> I guess so. Well, before our universe disappears quietly or explodes violently, I will sing my favorite song for one last time. <sighs> Back everything. My name is Pinkie Pie. Hello. And I am here to say, how are you doing? I'm gonna make you smile and I will brighten up your day. Bonjour. It doesn't matter how. What's up? If you are sad or blue. Howdy, partner. Cause cheering up my friends is just what Pinky's here to do. Cause I love to make you smile, smile, smile. Fills my heart up with sunshine, sunshine, sunshine. Hello, and this is once again Visual Pony with Common Time, and you can rem and I will remind you that you can support Pony and Dwarf Production through the links down in the description below. You can become a channel member, you can donate to us with a one-time donation, you can support us on Patreon. There are so many ways with which you can help that the lights on this channel stay on. And this might actually be one of the shortest stories I have ever read, but also the only one to date that I have not recorded completely, even though the text is there. Now, let me excuse myself here for doing this, okay? The author basically put the lyrics to the entire fucking smile song in here without spaces to cheat the word count. The result of that is one block of text that is just the smile song in one long word. And trying to get through that hurt my eyes. Didn't only hurt my eyes, but god damn it, you do not want to hear me sing as Pinkie Pie. Other than that, I find the premise of the story really good, really funny, and this author even writes in the author's notes, sorry guys, this is the first time I've ever written a MLP fanfic. Hell, this is the first story, a story I have written and showed it on the internet. I know I must have had a lot of grammar mistakes. I'm Vietnamese. English is not my native language. And this story is probably too dumb to get much recognition. However, I will continue to write whenever I am inspired and determined. Thank you for spending your precious time reading shits like this. Dude, I will tell you right now, there were some mistakes where I had to, you know, correct it. That I did that kind of automatically in my head. But overall, the story was fine. Maybe have an editor look over it. But you're fine, dude. You're, you're really fine. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this story and the premise. And I hope that this story finds you well in body and mind.